I did the other day about why you should never tell a woman to put herself in your shoes. And I got this comment from a chick and she said, and I quote, at eight minutes and 41 seconds, when you say that your girl, pardon me, when you say that if your girl is talking to her ex, tell her to stop or she's gone. Isn't this an ultimatum? I absolutely agree that she that she needs to not be talking to any exes, but isn't the ultimatum a sign of weakness? I think you guys have talked about that on the Red Man group, if I'm remembering correctly, or if I'm remembering right, as she says. Now, first off, I'll go ahead and point out that this isn't an honest question, okay? She's not asking me if ultimatums are a sign of weakness because she wants an answer from me. No, she asked the question to make the statements that ultimatums are a sign of weakness and that if I endorse them, then I, of course, Donovan Sharp, am weak. This is what she wanted to say. She wanted to point out that the sign of weakness is what she believes is in is an inconsistency in our message. So I'll answer her first loaded question. And the answer is that, ultim as that ultimatums are indeed a sign of weakness when coming from a position of weakness. If your value is low, okay, if you don't handle her like she needs to be handled, when you are in her frame and she is not in yours, and she is texting her higher value ex-boyfriend, then yes, telling her to stop texting her ex or she's gone is indeed a sign of weakness. But not all ultimatums are created equal, gentlemen. Not even close, and I'll get to that a little bit later on in the show. Now to answer her second assertion, which is that because we all agreed on the Red Man group that ultimatums are a sign of weakness, we must all indirectly agree that there is no gray area or context or room to disagree or add nuance or acknowledge that different circumstances require different reactions. Her comment was merely what we call concern trolling. She doesn't give a shit about the answer, guys. She literally wanted to say, hey, Donovan, you are a weak and a hypocrite. And I disrespectfully disagree. And I say to this woman, stay in your lane and buy, a, and buy your ticket to the 22 convention in 2020 as soon as they become available so you can learn to stay the fuck out of conversations when men are talking. But her comment did make me think about ultimatums. So many women like to declare proudly, well, I don't respond well to ultimatums. Or if he gives me an ultimatum, I shut down. Really? So when your boss tells you that if you are late again, you're fired, you just quit on the spot because you don't respond to ultimatums that well? When you're a kid and your mom told you to clean up your room and you were, or you were grounded, did you shut down? But Donovan, those situations are different. Yes, they are. And the difference is respect. You respect your boss's power to end your employment and to stop your paychecks. You respected your mother's authority to ground you. So when a woman says she doesn't respond well to ultimatums, what she is really saying is that she doesn't respond well to ultimatums from men she does not respect. Think about it. I'll give you, I'll give you a situation. If a girl dated a guy who is a 10 in looks, had a 10 inch dick worth 10 figures, keeps her in line and makes her work for his attention and affection and resources. And he told her, stop going out with your friends at night or we're done. Do you think she'd shut down? Do you think she'd leave and tell her friends that she left because he gave her an ultimatum and she doesn't respond well to ultimatums? Well, of course she wouldn't. Why? Because she respects him. He's a high value guy who knows his worth and demands her best. She loves and respects him. So her answer isn't, OMG, you gave me an ultimatum, I'm totally shutting down. No, her answer is, you got it, babe. No more girls' nights out. Now, of course, that mythical man doesn't exist, but you guys get the idea. And that idea is that a high-value male that a woman respects can lay down ultimatums left and right, and she will happily comply with each and every one of them if she wants him to keep her around. This also relates to sexual harassment in the workplace. Women don't want sexual attention from unattractive male coworkers. No, they want sexual attention from men that they are aroused by. Women don't want ultimatums from unattractive men they do not respect. Let's take it in another direction. Women always talk about the fact that they don't want to be objectified, and that's simply not true. 
No, they don't want to be objectified by unattractive men. They want to be objectified by men that make their pussies wet. And proof of this is on the internet every day with the pictures they post on social media and Instagram. In the same vein, and I will say it again, women don't like ultimatums from men that they're not aroused by. Men they do not respect. 